think the bigger question is, how do you get from here to here? And there to there. <laughs> It is tomorrow now, and it is still raining. But I tell you what, there are deer everywhere. Every time I go down the road or whatever, I see three or four little does. But I guess the bucks are up there in the trees hiding out. Can't hardly see out the window. There, is that better? This does not look like a good day to be putting your boat in. Swing around this way so we can get a better angle out this window. Ooh, the rain's coming in at this angle. <laughs> it's cold. It's uh, definitely a choppy day out on the water. Looks like a one, two, three, four slot. Boat ramp, one, two, three, four, five, six. My bad. At least they got little grippers on the concrete. It definitely helps. Little seawall over there. That's the day use area over there. Swimming area. There's that if you're interested. Hit pause if you want to read it. Looks like they rent kayaks. It's kind of cool. I noticed the uh, Lake Arrowhead State Park also rents that stuff now. It would be like uh, going down the rapids today on one of those. There's the fish cleaning station. I was wondering where that was at. I had talked to the uh, park attendant last night and uh, asking if fish were biting, he said that uh, the barrels at the fish cleaning station have been full every night. So he didn't say full of what, but I'm assuming fish. Don't know what kind though. Here's Gulls Bluff Day Use Area. Just do a quick drive through. Campground Picnic Pavilion, used by reservation only. Got a big old grill up there. Lots of tables. It's a nice little area. Sorry about the mirror being in your way. I'm just driving. Brought my bicycle and I was gonna do some riding and videoing, but it uh, is not favorable conditions for bicycling. Not today, anyway. Can you read that through the glass? Amphitheater, equestrian trail, screen shelter area, cabins, camping area, picnic area, and another boat ramp, apparently. Let's go check that stuff out. Oh, look here. See the deer? Little fellas, how y'all doing? Kind of wet out here, ain't it? <laughs> ah, you gotta keep a sense of humor, <laughs> even if it's a weak one. The Cod Ridge Cabin area. Let's go check this out. Looks like they've been doing some uh, tree trimming. One through seven is this way. Ooh, those are nice. Seven. Gosh, they got patios. 
or decks, whatever you want to call it. I guess it'd be a deck. A little uh, walking bridge to the front porch. Very pretty, very pretty. A little closer up. I don't think anybody's in these. Y'all want to see if we can see in the windows? Oh, it looks like they got curtains up. Yeah, they have curtains up. So much for that idea. I bet they have pictures of them online, though. You can check them out. There's the back side of that one. Very pretty. Nice, modern looking. Nice little RV. Park host. I went to a restroom while ago. Very clean. Very nice showers. I mean, for a state park, they're not like, I don't know, the Hilton, but they're really nice. Nice camper. I hadn't driven down here. Uh, Banishing Nomads. That's pretty cool right there. A little schooling. That's better. That's cool. I like that. Nice rig. Definitely could go stealth on that one. Oops. Well, this is a nice little spot. Is that it? Water shot down there. Water, electricity. Mm. I did check this upgrade to uh, water and electricity, and it would have been a, an another twenty dollars, which I don't know. It might be worth it, but definitely would be if I had an electric heater. But I have no heater, so we roughing it on the air mattress inside the truck. I need to name this thing. What do y'all think? Drop some suggestions down there in the comments. Everybody seems to have names for their rigs. I, I need something cool. And I'm not the... Uh, I'm not that cool to come up with a cool name. This is the Honey Creek Day Use Area Fishing Pier and Amphitheater and Boat Ramp. And a deer. I guess that's a bonus attraction. There's another one. Oh, that's cool looking, but pouring down rain at the moment. There's another cleaning station. the boat ramp. Be easy to load a boat. It'll be a little rough putting one in. You can load it real quick. <laughs> little horsepower needed. Yeah, let's carry on. Oh, this, it is so pretty. I mean, that, I don't know. I just really think that's pretty. I know mountains are pretty and deserts are pretty in their own way, but man, this is just gorgeous. If it just wasn't raining, Right, now let's check out the Bright Store 50 amp electric sites. Camping permit required. The 
Check this out. So, I'll, hey, there's a question for all you seasoned campers. I, I realize you can run more on a 50 amp versus a 30 amp, but does it really make a whole lot of difference? And I, from what I gather, if you're running an AC unit, you need a 50 amp. But if you're just running like, a, say, your general stuff, I don't have a microwave, but if you're running a microwave, computer, light, a little heater, would a 30 amp be good enough? That's a pretty cool paint job on that truck. I like that, that's pretty cool. Got the motorcycles out here. Oh, that's cool. I like those. Well, that's a nice motorhome. I like the colors. It's a nice looking camper there. I like that. There's restrooms all over the place out here. That's really good. I have to walk a mile to get to one. Nomadic fanatic. Well, let's check out the Sunset Cove Day Use area. And I think that uh, pretty much covers the entire park. It's kind of a tree area. Maybe I can walk through there. You want to walk for a second? Or a minute? We'll check it out. Yeah, I'm not really getting wet, but I don't know if you can hear it, but it, it's definitely raining. <laughs> Some of them raindrops are coming through those tree leaves. Tree limbs. What is this? You're using a recycling toilet by Clevis. This toilet uses no water or chemicals. Waste is being composted in the equipment below this building. Do not throw cigarette plastics bottles or cans into the recycling toilet hmm. that's cool it's also very dark and i don't see a lot it doesn't stink in here though looks like one of them vault toilets but i guess that's what you get if you're just composting it very pretty it doesn't stink out here either it's another fish cleaning station. Go over and check it out. Water. Ooh. Need to pay attention to where I'm walking. Definitely water. Um, I want to know how you get from there to there. I think the bigger question is, how do you get from here to here? And there to there. Apparently a storm tore it up. It was a very nice pier though. That's cool. Oh, the concrete broke off. Well, that's one problem. Don't you know that would have been exciting had you... Oh, that would really bite if you was out on that one fishing and all this collapsed. And you'd be stuck out there. And it, well, depends on what it is. It'd be kind of cold. I'm sorry, the pictures are not looking real good, but can't control Mother Nature. But it's really pretty. 
can't real really see the good pretty different greens and stuff but it's nice picnic tables and this is a day use area though still plenty of places to fish you know before it gets dark let's check this out eagle point screen shelter area camping permit required let's go check this out real quick Since I couldn't find anybody at Lola Palooza to hang out with at the moment, and I need to charge my house battery, I'm going to go in to some little town, I can't remember what it was called, to Ar Arturo's, what was it, Arturo's. Head south on Sunset Cove toward Farm to Market 3505. Yeah, what she said. Arturo's Firewood. I don't, I don't Arturo's Wood Fire Pizza Gallery. I don't know what a gallery is. I mean, I know what an art gallery is, but I guess a good pizza is an art. So let's uh, head that way. Get a pizza before it gets dark and get back. I'll see y'all later. In 600 feet, turn left onto Farm to Market 3505. Hopefully she hasn't been drinking tonight, because Lord of mercy, she has gotten me lost more than once. It's just the way it works sometimes. But the cool thing is, I do have internet. I guess I'm up on a hill. All right, y'all keep on keeping on, and I'll see y'all down the road. Bye. All right, just ran into Walmart and got this. It says 250 watts. Where's it at? Right there. 